Your girl has had these braids in for such a long time. Um, I took one braid out just so you guys can kind of see what I'm working with. All this like product, product buildup, um, dirt, dust, all of that. Okay, um, it's it's trapped in uh, the top of these braids. And if you guys have braids or you've ever had braids, then you know what I'm talking about. But I always like to get as much of a wear as the hair as possible so because I really do like this hair it's lasting you know fairly well I want to just redo kind of the perimeter here to give it a fresh look and so that I can wear it for at least another week week and a half and not looking like their dreadlocks y'all I'm telling you it is so late and I'm so tired and when I'm tired and it's late I get a little delirious okay I, I just gotta let you know right now so if you hear me saying some crazy stuff just you know, ignore it ignore it ignore it. okay for real all right you guys so i have my little concoction here um I, this is filled up with water and a little bit of apple cider vinegar and um that's just gonna help me get all of that gunk right there right off of the hair so all i do is i'm gonna spray some of that on there Woo! now when you do this make sure you get a towel Make sure you got an old raggedy shirt on. You know, you don't mind getting this stuff on, which I don't. And look at that. It's just gone, y'all. Like, <laughs> where did it go? <laughs> just kidding. It's definitely on this shirt and on this towel. So what I do after I do that, is I do just give it um, a couple combs, combs through. You are going to see some hair, right, if you brush your strand through. But that's not breakage. Um, that's just because your hair has been... Uh, basically not able to shed in the last 30 plus days so of course you're gonna get that um, but one one way actually you can tell if it's break is or breakage excuse me or not is how long the hair is right so if you're having like you know strengths strains excuse me strains of hair that are the length of your normal hair then you know that this is you know just natural shedding it was gonna happen whether your hair was in braids or not it's when you start seeing the little tiny pieces and this is excuse me if you have like medium to long hair so when you start seeing those little little tiny pieces like a bunch of those little tiny pieces that you know like hey that's actually breakage and that's coming from something else maybe your braider they braided it too tight everyday wear of it you pulled it so definitely something to look out for but yeah all of the strands that came out of here are actually long so that's how i know that it is just natural shedding and not breaking so now i take my coconut curling cream by cantu and i just apply a little bit like so rub that in rub it there give it some good moisture and i literally take that same braiding hair <laughs> that was used on this exact same braid and i reuse it i'm actually gonna just move it just a tad bit so that way um, your top will be kind of like a fresh cleaner piece <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna loop it loop the two pieces together like so and i also like doing this because you know i'm not the best at doing my own braids individuals um i have trouble like with parting and making sure that everything looks neat so this is cool because i can literally like the braids are already parted all the hair excuse me it's already parted and all i have to do is basically just do what my hair braider did so you just take it into three sections like so put that um, place the uh, synthetic hair on top of those two sections and then you should have one in the middle and then all you're going to do is just take that middle part and start to braid so just make sure you have a nice secure braid on there and then once you start there once you get a couple of stitches in then you'll just try to distribute the hair between the three parts a little bit more evenly all right 
right so as you can see i'll just zoom in there is a difference that you could tell from this is the braid that i just redid versus this one as you can see there's a lot of new growth right there um it's a lot looser and it doesn't look as neat as um this one that i just redid so i mean that's pretty much what i do um i just go around the perimeter no okay all right so that was my first one so i just did that one right here in the front so that you can see but now i'll start from um the very like corner and then i will do the same thing guys so I'm back once I finished I did just you know um, hop in the shower took the face mask off and now I'm ready for bed but yeah this is how it looks definitely a huge difference from what you're seeing right there um, yeah definitely not uh, I think that you can see the difference for sure um, so then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put all my hair in a ponytail. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, you guys saw they literally looked like dreadlocks before. They were like really struggling. Oh, so we did those. All right, so now to kind of add some finishing touches, I take my 48 hour edge control and yeah, you know, just lay some of those little hairs down with my little toothbrush here. And yeah, just, you know, make a little, do a little lay here, you know, nothing too, too crazy. But you know, sometimes my edges, they don't want to be co cooperative. If y'all have some uncooperative edges, leave a comment below. I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. Y'all yeah, be thinking I really know how to sing. But anyway. So yeah, this is basically what I do. Like, see right now, uncooperative. If nothing else make it look like it's new like oh girl you got your hair done last night mm -hmm. I did it <laughs> and then you just get your little scarf and then tie it down for the night and go to sleep so yes guys this is the final look let me know what you guys think in the comments below so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time my braids but you know I just want to come back to you guys and show you the difference between these two all right I'll be back I'll be back <laughs> I'm such a nerd okay turning this off Chris come turn this off Chris Chris yeah, yeah, yeah. come turn this off yeah. come turn the camera off yeah, it's Chris, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm Uncle Christopher. <laughs>